if you think data analytics jobs are dead you are completely wrong because there are still so many companies that are using data to steer their business successfully welcome everyone my name is deep chan in this video i will tell you why data analysts are so important and i'll give you the complete road map to what to learn in order to become a successful data analyst and how to find high paying jobs in data analytics now let me tell you why data analyst is so important even though chat gpt can do all of the data analysis now chat gpt definitely does a good job on data analytics technically but it lacks a very important skill that we humans have that is knowing how to run a business successfully and the ability to solve the problem when your business hits a iceberg i don't see how chat gpt can achieve that even in the near future when it comes to solving new problems that were not trained on chat gpt it is definitely going to try to help you but it cannot completely solve the problem itself so we humans have to take in charge and solve the problem also when it comes to creating interactive dashboards and creative dashboards no ai can beat a human in terms of creativity no matter what image generators or video generators or content generators come up all were trained on human creativity only Now let me tell you how are the job opportunities in terms of data analytics. There are so many high paying job opportunities even for freshers starting from mid size company to all the way up to fortune 500 companies. So many divisions in the business run only on the basis of data analysis. So it is a very crucial part of any department of any company. Well if you don't believe me here is a reddit proof that I can show you. This user is from UK and this is what he has to say. the market is not overwhelmed with data analysts data roles are required at a larger rate than there are data analysts graduating every year uk seems to have the worst disparity having over 100k plus data vacancies and only 20k floating data people apply for these jobs so you can see the demand and supply difference over here so obviously there is plenty of opportunities as a data analyst so please don't fall into the trap people telling you to learn full stack development generative ai Those fields are definitely good but if you are interested in data analytics you should pursue that only Now let me tell you what to learn in order to become a successful data analyst The first thing that you need to be good at is mathematics and statistics You don't need to be a PhD level mathematician here you just need to know high school mathematics very well that includes topics like algebra calculus probability and statistics Also you need to be handy with Excel or Google Sheet. Both are pretty similar but they belong to different company. You should know how to manipulate a data in it, use pivot tables and try to make a visualization dashboard in Excel itself. You can learn Excel completely from W3 schools and also practice it practically in your Excel application or Google Sheets. And the third thing that you need to learn is SQL or SQL. Learn basic queries, joins, aggregation functions. These all things are available on W3 school itself. Or if you are someone who is interested in learning through videos only, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that is for free. So you can learn and master them completely. And also if you want to make a step further, you can practice SQL on lead code. And the number 4, which is very important, is Python programming language. You need not learn object oriented programming here but you at least need a good understanding to use python and along with python you need to know pandas which is a data frame manipulation library also for numerical operations you need to learn numpy then there are two basic visualization library used for data analyst one is matplotlib and seaborn these two libraries are used to make data visualization using python so when i say python you need to learn like variables loops functions All these things are available in W3 schools and there are plenty of tutorials on Python in YouTube itself. So these things are completely free and if you want to practice Python you can always go to lead code and solve few problems to make your programming skills much sharper. The fifth one is data visualization tools. This is the most important tool that a data analyst should know completely in and out. because no matter what you do in data analysis nobody is going to care that only thing that they care is the final result so you should be able to create interactive and creative dashboards using tableau or power bi trust me power bi and tableau is so important for a data analyst that it can give you 
enormous amount of opportunities if you know these tools very well now after learning all of these tools you need to put these things into practice so i would suggest go to kaggle and pick any data set and start doing exploratory data analysis you need to look at the data understand the data and clean them pre process them and finally try to get insights out of the data after getting the insights programmatically you need to make visualizations so that common people can understand what was there in the data set so you can use pandas to manipulate the data clean the data pre process the data completely then you can use matplotlib and seaborn to make visualizations first then after finalizing everything you can convert it to tableau dashboard or power bi dashboard but this roadmap can be achieved by anyone who is seeing this video and is very interested in doing data analytics but if everyone starts doing the same how will you even get picked out when you apply for a job that is how can you differentiate yourself from others here are some common things that most of the people ignore to learn while learning data analytics they simply start learning tools they do the exploratory data analysis simply by getting random data sets from kaggle i'm not telling that it is wrong to get data set from kaggle but let me tell you the point before we move on to next topic if you are loving this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out any future content the first thing is when you start picking data sets from kaggle initially you can do it from any of the industry or any of the domain but as you go further you need to decide your favorite domain and start working on it now let's say i'm interested in marketing so i would only choose those data sets that are related to marketing so that when i add those projects related to marketing i would be given the first preference when i apply for a marketing analyst job so most of the beginners they don't choose their domain they just simply keep it wide and think that they could just move to any domain when they think but it's not like that if you are in the healthcare you need to be in the healthcare you should know how the industry performs and you should know a lot about healthcare uh, and if you are in marketing you should know a lot about marketing terms and what are the requirements there and how the business is run using marketing all these things you should be knowing so choosing a domain is very important here as a data analyst and the second thing would be although people know these tools very well but when they create dashboard after creating the dashboard the very important thing that a data analyst needs to do you should be able to communicate properly and you need to explain a non technical person that you have found these insights in that data set using your visualizations and dashboard so you need to have very good communication skills here most of the recruiting people will mark this as the differentiator in the candidates this is a key skill that many people lack if you are a good speaker then say data analyst is for you now that was about the roadmap part now let me tell you how to get a high paying data analyst job not everybody in data analytics gets a high paying job i have seen getting lowest salaries in data analytics but i have also seen people getting extraordinary high salaries in data analytics that you will not even believe there is a huge misconception when it comes to applying jobs for data analytics so many people would have told you to only apply for jobs that are termed as data analyst but it is completely wrong sometimes data analytics jobs are not termed as data analyst instead it could be termed as financial analyst supply chain analyst marketing analyst etc the analyst term from data analytics is just tied with the industry or the domain name it is that simple so make sure while you apply for data analyst jobs you're not only applying for those termed with only data analytics you're making sure that your industry is chosen and you're working in some domain like marketing healthcare or business it could be supply chain business analyst or it could be marketing analyst now the question is where do i find high paying jobs now everybody would say start searching on linkedin and start applying there get referrals this thing has really gone saturated so i'm not telling you not to apply jobs on linkedin you should definitely apply jobs on linkedin ask for referrals but here is the thing that you can do to make your chance of getting job higher now let's say you are a very good data analyst you have chosen your domain and you know all of the tools very well and you have prepared a dashboard but this dashboard does not need to stay in your computer you need to share it online on linkedin twitter anywhere 
so that does not mean that you are going to share a screenshot and just leave it and the job opportunity would automatically come to you this does not happen instead of that you can record yourself explaining what you have found in the data using your visualization so this proves the communication skill of yours so if you upload something like this on twitter or linkedin definitely people those who are hiring they will definitely want you to be in their team trust me this approach is really powerful now what if you don't want a 9 to 5 job and you want to do freelance for data analyst freelance is the best option that i would suggest you can start applying freelance jobs on upwork or any freelance platform that you know of they pay like 15 dollars to 100 dollars an hour so if you calculate let's say you work 15 hours a week and 5 weeks a month then on average you will be earning like 20 dollars per hour then per month it sums up to 1500 dollars which gets converted to around 1.25 lakhs in indian rupees so freelance is an excellent option for data analysts there are plenty of opportunities coming daily on upwork i have seen personally just in case if you're not interested with upwork you can personally reach out to few startups and show them the work that you have done some companies might reply back to you that they need a data analyst so they might hire you or they might give you per project price so it is an excellent opportunity out there for data analysts now i hope this video would have helped you to become a future data analyst and all those data analysts figuring out to change their roles to full stack development generative ai you definitely need not worry data analyst is a very good role out there so thank you for watching